Okay, we're back with one of my favorite recipes and food of all time, pizza. This time a meat feast pizza. You can basically put whatever you want on it, similar base every time. You want 250 grams of bread flour, one dried yeast sachet, 150 grams of warm water. For the topping, you want one tin of tomatoes, oregano or oregano two cloves of garlic or just a larger clove of garlic like I have. Any meats you want, I'm using salami, pepperoni and parma ham. And then mozzarella cheese, as much cheese as you want to your liking. So start me measuring out the flour, really simple. I'm not going to do it the mixer way, but you could just add all the ingredients to a mixer. I'm going to do it a traditional way where I mix the flour in a sort of well type shape. You want to add the yeast to a warm water to activate the yeast and then put that to the side. So then once you've got your flour all measured out, you want to create a well on a work surface. And the well is going to trap the water. Then you can incorporate the flour from the outside of the well into the water gradually to incorporate the water. You don't want to add it very quickly. You want to do it as a gradual process. Obviously, I'm aware that I don't want any of the water to spill over. I think it does happen anyway. But see, I'm just using a fork. You can use your fingers, but I'm slowly just bringing the flour in and incorporating the flour into the yeast and water. You could add a pinch of sugar and a pinch of salt. Some people do that to a bread mix. I haven't on this occasion. And then once I've started to incorporate it, you always want the mix to be quite wet as well. You don't want it to just dry up. If it's drying up, it's going to be too tough. So you always want a slightly wet dough when you start working it and then you can incorporate more flour onto your hands when you're working the dough and kneading it. So to knead the dough you want to bring the flour back, fold it over and then push down on the other side of it. So create a sausage type shape. You want to keep basically keep working it, keep activating the dough until it's quite warm and then you want it to be quite a soft looking shape. So you see how it's quite supple. Then once it's all ready, you want to put it in a bowl, add flour so it doesn't stick to the bowl when it rises. And it should double in size, really. And then you just put a towel over it, put it in a hot place, and just let it leave it to the side whilst you start prepping the toppings. So I use a little mixer, add a garlic, some oregano, or oregano. Which way is the proper way of saying that? I think one's American. I say oregano. Anyway, add tomato, salt and pepper. Give that a mix. You don't have to do the mix, but I find that it thickens the sauce up. If you just sort of add tomato straight from the tin, you get quite a wet surface on your pizza dough, and then the wet doesn't really go away when you put it in the oven. So, okay, so see how the dough sort of doubled in size. It's not much dough. It's only going to make about one-ish pizzas. Um, at this point in time as well, you want to put the oven on to as hot as you can, as far hot as the oven goes, because uh, pizzas should be cooked quite quickly. And then you just want to push it out, make sure you still have a crust. See how I'm sort of pushing out from the inside, making sure there's no tears. Leave it to the side. You can cook it as well on like a cement base or whatever they are, but I find it's just so much easier in a little tin. I tend to get the best results. Push it round, make sure there's a crust, and then bring your toppings back in. So here's the mix we had, and see how it's like a thicker tomato? That's sort of what I want to see. I don't want to see a sort of very wet mix. I want it to hold together when I move it round. You can just use tomato, but I think it helps to add a few flavors like garlic and so on. And then just add however much toppings you want. I'm actually adding far more than I usually do. I'm more sparing, but I was quite hungry today. And the whole point was it to be quite a meaty pizza. So here we go, layer it on, lather it on top. That's right, look at all that meat. Vegetarian's not welcome. <laughs> and then add your mozzarella. Again, I added quite a bit of mozzarella and some more meat on top. I ended up, well basically I had meat left over so I just thought use it all. And you want to cook it for about eight minutes as high as the oven goes. And there you go, pizza, simple. 
simple as should hold together when you pick it up it shouldn't just flop down there's a bit of that going on but that's pretty good for me happy with that and there we are pizza impress all your friends by making it and that's the picture I took check out my Instagram at meaty eats subscribe gonna be making a lot more videos like this um, simple thanks for watching till next time